Edgar Keret, one of Israel's uh, most uh, prominent authors in Israel and abroad, and actually a multi-talented artist, uh, in addition to literature, films, comics, and now music. Welcome to Modi'in Edgar. And since we are about to close 2011 and open 2012, uh, will you be kind enough to share with Culture Buzz your uh, summary of 2011 and your plans uh, ahead? Uh, well, uh, 2011 uh, wasn't one of my uh, most creative years. Uh, I, I finished writing a book in, on 2010 and mo for most of 2011 it was just uh, traveling and uh, promoting my book uh, overseas and uh, it seems as if uh, the first half of 2012 will have a lot of traveling too. Uh, uh, the book will come out in, uh, in England, uh, Australia and the US, uh, Poland, uh, Germany, and Italy uh, all, uh, in the next six months. So I'll be traveling a lot and writing very little. So I'm looking forward for this because it's always an adventure to meet new audiences, but I'm also looking forward to start writing again. And when it comes to 2012, uh, any other plans you can uh, disclose? Uh, it's, uh, the truth is that I'm, I'm working on a few different projects. I'm, uh, I'm uh, working on a children's book, a, a, a novella, and some idea for a screenplay. And usually, uh, when, I, when I'm in a working process, I never know what's going to come out in the end. I, I start working on many projects, and usually, if I'm lucky, one of them reaches uh, the ending point. We still remember fondly your uh, visit to Oslo. And uh, if I may, uh, Edgar, take this opportunity, since you are being interviewed uh, for Culture Buzz, uh, as one of uh, Israel's uh, most prominent cultural figures, especially abroad, uh, when you look at uh, Israeli culture, and its role. Uh, is there anything that you find uh, special or uh, important? Uh, well, uh, you know, I, I think that uh, Israel is a very uh, uh, multicultural country and uh, it also, there are many ide different ideologies here and there are a lot of clashes between them. So, so I think uh, uh, many people see culture differently. You cannot talk about one role for culture. Uh, personally, I was very active in the, in the social protest uh, last summer. I've written quite a few essays about it and, and took part in the activities themselves. So for me, it was uh, uh, the first time that I found myself uh, so much involved in, uh, 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 in something that is basically uh, ex-territorial to, to pure culture. Uh, but, uh, but I really feel that, you know, in Israel now we have so many clashes between uh, left and right and uh, ultra-orthodox and secular and every... every New week or, or, or month, there is another kind of some sort of a friction point, and I think that the culture, in many ways, provides of a way of basically connecting people with different opinions and also a, a humanizing a, the other. You know, I know that let's say I, if when I see Ahmadinejad, you know, on TV, and when he talks about I don't know building atomic bombs and throwing them on Israel, then, then I don't feel any connection to the Iranian people. But when I see Iranian movies, then I realize that, ba that basically uh, some political leadership uh, doesn't uh, represent an entire country or an entire culture. So, uh, so I think that in Israel, 
because it's a country that has so many uh, violent clashes inside the society itself, I, I, I think that the culture should, uh, should, be, should have a humanizing effect and can help bridge some of those uh, gaps and differences. Edgar, if I may ask you, what can we wish you for 2012 and ahead? Well, I just, ho I just hope that, uh, you know, that I'll have uh, uh, something interesting uh, to work about and uh, to work on and say, you know, and that's, if, if I do something, you know, that will interest me and hopefully interest some, some of the audiences, then it will be good here. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you.